I personally believe that in order to drive partnership, you need trust, you need openness, and you probably also need humility. And I think, honestly, if we were to make a survey uh, <laughs> in the broader public, I don't think these three words would be the first thing that people thought about when they think about the pharmaceutical industry. So we need to change. And uh, in Leo, we've actually taken that very close to heart. And I'd like to share an example on how we uh, are driving open innovation at Leo, because again, we believe that this is necessary in order to progress science. So in Leo, we are 5,000 people working every day with an inner desire to make a difference for people living with skin diseases. Now we have 700 scientists employed in the company. They are smart, they are clever, but yet they are probably not all the brain power in the world. We don't believe that, at least. So we do realize that we need to collaborate uh, with other uh, companies in order to progress science. So what we've done is that we've actually offered, or we do offer, that any scientist anywhere in the world, in a startup, in, other, in another pharma company for that matter, in academia, can use our in vitro or in vivo models to test their molecule to see if that actually works in a skin disease like psoriasis or eczema. So basically, you just need to send your vial to us through the post. We will test it in our models. We'll give the data back to you. You have all the IP rights. We don't even need to know the structure of the molecule. But we'll obviously share the data with you so you know whether this actually works in a skin disease, or has the potential to work in a skin disease. We do this in confidence, for free, no strings attached. Obviously, when we see data, if we see it working, we will reach out to you and uh, ask whether we should collaborate to actually take this all the way through the market. Now, can you imagine when we introduced this idea, the impact it had inside the company? Do you think that people said, well, wow, that's an amazing idea, let's do that? Or were people afraid? They were very much afraid, because they were afraid that, look, we are, that, you know, one of our core competences in the company is our models, is our ability to predict whether a molecule works or not, and now we are just sharing that for free with anybody. And, you know, one of the very scary things that one of the first molecules we got to test came from another pharma company. That was even more scary. But yet, uh, we have uh, progressed it, and uh, since we started two years ago, we've tested more than 400 molecules. Uh, and actually, we have a, a number of partnerships running now through this. They haven't reached market yet, because we've only been doing this for the past 24 months, but still, it's a completely new way of collaborating. And it, it has required a lot of change inside our company to do that. It has required openness, humility, realizing that probably we are not the best at everything. And certainly also the willingness to partner and collaborate. And I think that when you talk about collaboration, and I think probably that's something that we in the pharmaceutical industry really need to take to heart, that collaboration or partnership is not about finding a better way to reach your own goals. It's about finding a better way to reach common goals. And that is a profoundly different way of working. And I believe we need to do that to deliver on our promise to provide better care for patients. Thank you.